Hello everyone, welcome back to enginecoding.com. Today we are going to study about the scopes in JavaScript. So let's see how can we do that. The first one we are having is the local scope. Variable declared within the JavaScript function become a local scope. So here on screen you can see that the variable will declare in the uh, within the JavaScript. So here the brackets are available and the function will be declared in that one. First you have to create a function for that. The local variable, variable have function scope and they can only be accessed from the within a function. So it will always access within a function. First you have to create any function. The name of the function is given here is my function. And the, another form is the function, my function, the name of that function. So whatever things you want to create, you have to write in the, uh, you have to write it in the brackets. So after writing all the things, let car name is Volvo and document dot get element by ID demo one in a HTML type of method. So that's how you can create. The second one is given is the document dot get element demo two and this. So this car will not be in the form of function. So uh, that's how you can create the local variables. Here, this one is the local. Uh, in case of the local variable, the things which is written inside the bracket is the local variable and will be visible but the thing that is written outside the web bracket is not visible so that's how that's that is the format how can you write it there is another form of the scope that is the block uh, block scope how can you write that so this is the format how can you write in case of the block scope uh, or you can say the global javascript scope a variable declared outside a function became a uh, global okay so in that case a global variable has a global scope and all script and function on the web page can access it so here on screen it is not compulsory to write it inside the bracket you can mention that particular thing outside the function so here I have mentioned the variable outside the function that function is created here but I have mentioned before the function so that is called the global scope it can be run inside or outside there is no issues with that so that's how you can create in local you have to mention this particular variable inside a function and in global you have to you can mention it anywhere but most probably the outside of the function so that's how you can create the different kind of scopes in javascript so that's all for today's class tomorrow we'll study about more features related to javascript thank you so much